every man asks himself this question. When I roll over in the morning and I see that woman, will I want to A, stay in the bed a little bit longer, or B, jump out the bed because I'm scared for my whole life? Hey everybody, welcome to the King's Round. We are Jermaine and Nikki. AKA that Christian fam, we are the King's Realm. And tonight, y'all, the question we're going to be bringing up or discussing rather is, are you superficial? And how I stumbled on that topic is, you know, I was actually uh, meditating on, on the word, on the word vanity. For some reason, that word vanity kept coming to my mind. And um, I don't know, just one day, you know, I was just on, on my phone or whatever. And this, this TV show called, y'all may have heard of it, it's called uh, Married at First Sight. I never watched the show, but it was kind of interesting because I guess this particular couple made a lot of headlines because um, I think the guy's name is Luke and then her name is Katie. And so I guess how it works is, you know, the, the producers of the show, they do extensive research. They, they search your moral background. They search your, your, your family values and stuff like that. They search, you know, all type of, you know, traits, character, characteristic or character traits, you know, that, you know, you would actually seemingly pair, you know, pair just fine with, you know what I mean? Like if, if you like hiking, he likes hiking. If you like skateboarding, he likes skateboarding, you know, those things. So all of those, if you want to have two kids, he wants to have two kids, all these different uh, qualities and different aspirations in life, they match them up to the T. But the thing about it is they can't see each other until the wedding day. And so that's why it's called Married at First Sight. Well, listen, they paired this dude, Luca, with a woman by the name of Katie. I don't want to mess up her name, but I think it's Katie. And um, now she happened now. He told him, he, he told the producers his uh his his taste what his you know what he what he likes what he's really attracted to and he told them brunettes but um they paired him up with a blonde and yeah 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 so they paired him up with a blonde and to be honest with y'all um you know after you know this is just behind the scenes stuff some people did some research on social media and all that other stuff and his last girlfriend his previous girlfriend his previous girlfriend maybe before that both of them were biracial so I don't know, you know, that's another topic for another show, but it, you don't get, you, you know, you don't get Katie from his, you know, his previous girlfriends, but, um, anyways, they get to the wedding day, they, I mean, they got married and all this other stuff, but it's just not working, it's like, you know, dude matches up with her perfectly, but he's just physically not attracted to her, and I'm thinking, like, man, you're like, you have to be really vain you have to be really superficial to just look at somebody now you were you were you were all you know cold cozy and cool all the way up until the wedding day when you <laughs> saw this person and then you 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 saw him and now you about to do an about face you about to do a whole 180 but then you no no listen he had an opportunity to get out of it because check this out he saw her on the wedding day before he said i do you know, he put the ring on her finger. He saw her, so I guess he was trying to force something. Well, not, but anyways, it's not going too well, y'all. But it just got me to thinking, like, man, like this dude must really be superficial. Like he must be really vain. And to be honest, y'all, I mean, listen, I think all of us, to a certain point, we are superficial. We we really are. But um, before I go too hard on, on this dude, Luke, um, it kind of made me think, go down memory lane, and think about myself. Um, before um, before we were before we were married and before I was saved or anything like that, I used to be just like Luke. Now, um, now listen, listen. This is the King's Realm, y'all, aka that Christian fam. We didn't create this channel to come off as if as if we've been perfect this whole time. Like we we came, you know, into the world saved, you know. Quoting, quoting the Bible, we we didn't come into the world that way. Okay, so we believe in being transparent. We be, believe in being authentic. So I'm gonna tell y'all, just fair warning. Listen, this was my mentality before I was saved. My mentality was, you know, they used to used to always hear that quote, uh, "Beauty is within." Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Now listen, I promise. Every time I heard that quote, I used to be like, "Man, whatever. That's just something." Uh, scrubs and mud ducks say 
just to feel better about themselves. And so I promise I did. And uh, if y'all don't know what a mud duck is, if y'all ever heard the story of the, the fairy tale about the ugly duck, and you know you had the ugly duckling, you know you had the the beautiful swans or whatever the the, the baby swans that were just so pretty, I guess. And then you had the one mud duck. Then we had the one ugly duck and uh, ugly duckling or whatever and so you know that's basically what a mud duck is like a, like a reject like a cast off so anyways i felt like when people said beauty is within i thought it was reserved for people who were scrubs you know y'all remember that old tlc song i don't want no scrubs and then also mud ducks so but praise god i've grown in grace and i know that um the physical aspect is just one part of a relationship. It's not the main part of a relationship. It does have to factor. I believe within my heart, it does have to factor in. Because listen, I tell Nikki all the time, uh, listen, if I wasn't physically attracted to her or she wasn't physically attracted to me, there never would have been a relationship. There never would have been a marriage. There never been, it would have been our three children. At the end of the day, every man, I promise, every man asks himself this question. When I roll over in the morning and I see that woman, will I want to A, stay in the bed a little bit longer, or B, jump out the bed because I'm scared for my whole life? <laughs> every man, they, they listen, every man asks himself that question. And y'all see, I'm married to Nikki because I really feel like she is A, I want to stay in the bed with my wife, amen. And she wants to stay in the band with me that's why we got three kids but anyways y'all so that's how we came up with this topic but honestly i do think everybody has some touch of uh superficial within them you have to have a little bit but i don't i think having too much too much of anything is a bad thing right so well i think the physical attraction comes first because we're visual beings so, exactly yeah. you know when you see the person there has to be something that makes you want to continue to look at them i mean if you feel like they're not um appeasing to the eye yeah. you know then that is going to be kind of a barrier especially if you're saying that i'm going to spend the rest of my life with you right Marriage is forever. Yeah, so I it's think not just a I think that process. physical attraction, if we're all being honest, does you know play a part in relationships. However, on the other side of that, have you ever known someone that may not be quite as physically attractive, but because of their beauty within them, no, serious like their character, right. it kind of makes you look at them differently. Yeah. So That's true. because I've also known people who could be very physically attractive but because their character wasn't you know mm -hmm. very friendly and you know they weren't the nicest person it just made them look bad you know it's like you may be physically but right. if you if it's what's internal is not matching then that just basically overshadows all your physical appearance so if you had to choose one over the other what would you choose? Um, I would have. I would choose. <laughs> no, listen. The, hes the hesitation. <laughs> listen. All right. <laughs> the hesitation. I would choose both. Um, I know, but, but say if it was really like a, a. Okay, here's someone who may not be as physically attractive, right. but they're very caring. They have a good character. They love you with all their might as much as humanly possible and then you have someone who is very um beautiful mm -hmm. did i say that backwards or did i get it right beautiful <laughs> but they don't right i see what you're saying but they're not yeah. kind they're mean they're very vain they're mean themselves fine. yeah yeah they're very selfish i would rather have the person um who has those um those internal attributes because um, here's the thing as opposed to just the exterior because the exterior the bible says that beauty is fleeting mm -hmm. um so yeah i mean mm -hmm. and eventually you know and some people carry their beauty all the way to the end <laughs> i mean to where now you listen see. they may get some work on the way to that grave though you know some plastic <laughs> surgery we got some wonderful plastic surgeons here in dallas <laughs> right wonderful plastic surgeons so but, but we all know with life and age and 
it could be illnesses things mm. beyond our control then you know exactly like for instance physical. for me yeah for me like it's so like so like on my eyes right now listen this is that time of season or the time of year where my face kind of well around my eyes it kind of swells up because I, I suffer from chronic allergies and sinus problems and all that other stuff so you can see like around my eyes where it kind of swells up a little bit or actually swells up a lot or whatever so you're like who is he to be talking about no i don't always look like this g you better <laughs> check yourself but listen anyways um I, I i definitely see what you're talking about but if i had to choose between one or the other i'd rather have a person who was beautiful on the inside um as opposed to just the outside because you know we've lived in you know i actually saw at an early age um people who were work, who were really beautiful handsome attractive on the outside but but the interior was just crappy like they treated people like trash um they treated you like trash and it's just like that was really off-putting it's really unattractive so you know and you have beautiful people handsome people who are single or lonely because they don't have that those internal qualities that are really attractive that really penetrate you know deeper than just this superficial thing so yeah and if we're looking at it from a Christian standpoint as well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging God's um, masterpieces either, you Amen. know, as far right. as the physical. Um, but just some things to keep in mind how in 1 Samuel 16 and 7, how it says that man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. At the so heart. at the end of the day, it really is about your internal character that matters. And then if we're thinking about vanity, um, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Mm -hmm. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. So, Philippians 2 and 3, that's where that comes from. Um, but just talking about being conceited and thinking more of yourself, which leads to our next one. Romans 12 and 3, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. He ought to think. And that was Satan's problem, y'all. I'm jumping ahead, but that was Satan's problem. He thought of himself more highly than he ought to think. And in Proverbs 31 and 30, it says, Favor is deceitful mm -hmm. and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So it really just, it really matters about yeah. what's on the inside. And I think what's on the inside will radiate through and add to your beauty. Right. I mean, just like, and this is an old movie, but you remember Shallow How? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And yeah, a lot and, of us remember Shallow How. And the people that he was seeing as beautiful, it was because internally, you know, they were very kind and sweet and caring, mm -hmm. but they may not have been as physically attractive. And everybody else around him is like, Man, how are you okay? Um, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> She's just so beautiful. And they weren't seeing. They're checking, like, What you talking about? <laughs> they, they weren't seeing what he was seeing. But it's because he was seeing it, the person from the inside out. So, um, I just think, you know, so I guess if you think about how beauty is in the eye of the beholder, mm. that really does. That is true. That That is true. So, let's look a little bit further into Proverbs 31 and 30. How it says, charm is, deceit, is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So, basically, listen, beauty is temporary. But it's funny how we let something so temporary make permanent impacts. Mm -hmm. We make we make we let temporary things make permanent impacts. Where we where you know we we, we do things that could burn bridges forever. You know where where you know in, irreconcilable differences with not just spouses but friends, family, loved ones, all that. So um, you know it. It, it can really be a stumbling block to be honest with you and if you think about it I don't want to jump ahead too too much but um, it 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 opens doors now you know your beauty your 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 fineness or handsomeness whatever brother you want to go by your debonairness or whatever I, I just made up a word but um, it can open up doors but it can also close many doors as well because it can be very off-putting depending on if you're lifted up in pride and all your vanity so um and also one one of the dangerous things about you know being caught up in your beauty and, and vanity and super and all these superficial things is um it can open up all the wrong doors and it can open up uh doors for all the wrong reasons mm -hmm. case in point you know you don't you, when you go for a job interview 
you want to get hired for that job on your own merit okay you don't want to get hired on that job based just because you were the prettiest or handsomest uh, candidate of the day you know you want to be able to stand on your own merit because the same thing that you use to get you there is the same thing you're going to have to use to keep you there and this thing is very faulty and very flaky and people change like the weather so they can change their opinion that you look good to them one day the next day you don't so that's why you want to get things uh, the right way instead of leaning on something like vanity so and like you said there. you know your exterior can get you in the door but you have to have something interior wise to keep you in the room exactly you know so your, your looks can get you there but the but it, the external what's yeah. on, what's within will keep you there the internal oh that's good yeah Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the things y'all notice how I talked about, I didn't want to jump ahead, but if you look at the Bible, um, it talks about how Lucifer, um, he didn't fall from heaven. He was actually kicked out of heaven. And you'll never find in the scriptures um, where there's a mention of fallen angels. It doesn't say fallen angels because they didn't fall anywhere. They were kicked out of heaven. Um, and this is why the Bible warns against charm and beauty because it's those very things that Satan, well, Lucifer at the time, um, he's also named the light bearer. Um, and we'll get into that. That's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But he's called the light bearer for a reason. And what he did is he used his charm, his deceptiveness to get over one third of the angels in heaven to follow him. And to go along with his agenda to overthrow God, his, his, his plan to overthrow God. And so he was lifted up in pride because he got caught up in his position and he got caught up in his beauty. The Bible warns against these things. You can even find these in the scriptures, Isaiah 14, 12 through 14, and also Ezekiel 28, 12 through 18. Uh, it talks about the fall of Lucifer to the earth, or excuse me, not the fall. The kicking out, the casting out of Lucifer and one third of heaven uh, to earth uh, because they were because he was lifted up in pride and he deceived one third of heaven to go with him. And this is for this reason. This is why the Bible says pride cometh before a fall. Y'all get what I'm saying? No, he didn't fall. But pride, we will fall. Us men, we will fall. Pride comes before fall because anytime you get lifted up in pride and you puff yourself up so high I guarantee you a fall is coming so all right so some takeaways from the video well let's see my takeaway from the video is um, don't get lifted up in pride um, just just don't get don't, don't get too caught up again we're not saying that you know the external doesn't have anything to do with relationships doesn't have anything to do with well, friendships in may but um just don't think of those things too hollow than you ought to think you know the bible warns against that so at the end of the day we're not saying being mindless be, to be mindless beings but we are saying to use wise judgment in everything that you do so don't get so blind caught up in what you see on the outside that you totally miss all those great things that that person brings to the table um on that's lying within so okay so question selfies oh here we go is that is that being vain i think of a person's uh caught up in selfies you you taking a selfie every single day i think that's that's, <laughs> that's a little vain especially with the with the duck lips man i like listen Okay, it's mostly women on uh, the Instagram filters. Them Instagram and uh, what is it? Um, Twitter. Not Twitter filters. The other one, the one Snapchat, Snapchat filters. Uh -huh. Snapchat, Instagram filters. I promise. Now listen, I don't know what it is, but like a lot of women are infatuated with this. What is it called? An emoji thing or whatever. I'm, I promise. Listen, listen. Whoever watching, chick. You ain't a fox. I know you try to make yourself look like a fox, but just go ahead and take that filter off. Okay, you you ain't a squirrel, you ain't a bunny, you ain't none of that. Okay, so just go ahead and just be real and listen. If you got whatever you got working with, trust and believe God gave it to you. And 
you know, that filter is only going to go so far because when old dude see you in person, he ain't seen you. <laughs> when old dude see you, when he see you in person, I guarantee he ain't looking at you through an Instagram filter. I promise. And it's going to kill every hope and dream. It's going to crush your hopes and dreams. You don't want your hopes and dreams crushed on day one. On day one. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but well, I have something I want to say. As far as selfies, I guess what you were saying, like if it's taken excessively, yeah. then maybe, maybe yeah. that's maybe it's borderline vanity. Yeah. But I also want to touch on the piece that there's a difference between being vain and being confident. Yeah, you can be confident, and then another one too that the side profile, uh, what is it, the side profile pic where I promise, like the camera's over here. But you, but you looking over here. I mean, I listen. Let's, after, I'm gonna reel them back in. Y'all. Yeah, I, let's stay come focused. on. Let's stay focused. Yeah, I'm gonna stay focused. <laughs> I'm gonna stay focused. But there's nothing wrong with being confident. You know, we are God's masterpieces. We are beautifully and wonderfully made. The scripture even tells us that. Mm-hmm. But just keeping it for me a takeaway, and I guess that's kind of leading back into my takeaway from the video. Just making sure that we're not only making up our exterior there's nothing wrong you know with makeup up and you know jewelry and right. you know making sure that you do have a, a nice that. presentation there's nothing wrong with that but if it's taking over your internal we need to make sure we're also giving that much attention to our character as well and doing yeah. some character um building and decorations right. as well to make sure because that's what really matters at the end of the day is who we are internally hey man well said well said y'all see how she keep me in line she she got me back in. she wrote me back in you know i'm a he was, I'm a clown. Clown. He was swimming all the way to, i'm a clown, out, I can clown deep so. in the ocean somewhere we have to get him far from the, the peaceful shore oh, huh my goodness <laughs> all right well be sure to check us out yeah listen hit us up on all social media uh, forums um, definitely subs- hit the hit the subscribe button hit the like button on this video and also hit that notification bell and that way whenever we upload any videos you'll be one of the first people to get notified that hey we have new content um, right available to you so um, we look forward to you know doing more videos and more ideas we just love doing this y'all this is what we're called to do so Again, this is Jermaine and Nikki from the King's Realm, a.k.a. That Christian Fam, where we shape our worldview around God's reality. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love, show love. Show love, show love. When they don't want you to shine, show love. Selfie, right? <laughs> Can I get it? Can I get I th- it? I think, lean I think, in, lean in, I lean think. in. Uh, not like I want it, but... Just go ahead. All right, Got it. A, all right, y'all. That's a wrap. All right.